Harper down on strike to see the second out of the inning. Base is empty. Batting for Willard. First and second with one out now. Down on strikes for the first out of the Take me through that. Take us through that at bat there. What happened? What did you see? Pitch, swing. Man, I didn't think they were gonna pitch to me. Uh, the last game they hadn't pitched to me. This game I was like, I don't know if they're gonna pitch to me. And uh, I was just up there. I was like, if I see a pitch, I'm going for it. And that pitch was right there. And I, just, I was like, this is wrong. When it left your bat, what were you thinking? Did you, did you know like, it was gone? I was like, please go, please go. Like <laughs> we our team needed it, so it was good. Um, describe the emotion of just rounding the bases. You know, go ahead, home run, late in a district championship game. I mean, the excitement was unreal. We've been working for this moment for 12 years, so I, it was so exciting. All right, it's been at least what 10 years since Willard's done this softball, yeah, win yeah. a district title. It has. To accomplish this, what, what does it feel like? It's crazy. We've been working for this for so long, and these girls, we all deserve it. So it's just. Amazing. Uh, to get your, you, you were already the career home runs leader, but to, it's 41 now for your career. I mean, that's just something you're going to remember for probably the rest of your life, right? Yeah, yes, yes. Just, um, I mean, what what goes into hitting so many home runs at the high school level? Lots and lots of practice. My dad and I spent hours at the field together, and so it was a there. I asked Coach about the little feather boas you had. I guess you guys took a trip to Par Party City before the we game. We did. That was also for breast cancer awareness for October. So yeah, that was exciting. Okay. We're talking to your teammate, uh, Allison. This is the first time Willard's done this in 10, 12 years to accomplish this. I know this stuff that you girls have probably set as a goal, but to finally do it, what's it feel like? It's amazing. I mean, we've worked hard, like in practice. We have goals written on our bulletin board in our dugout, and like this is something we have tried and worked for for a long time. So it feels really good to finally be able to do it. And with these group of girls, is really cool. Did you throw against Nixon in the regular season? Yes, I did. Um, so to hold them to one run in 14 innings, I mean, what, what's been working for you against their lineup? 
I think it's just hitting my spots, trusting my coach that's pitch calling, and just ch trusting my catcher and spinning the ball. What were those nerves like the, the last few innings? Tie game, you know, one swing, one play could change it. Uh, how'd, you, how'd you guys just battle through that and overcome it? I mean, it was scary. Like, one hit of the bat could go over the fence. But I think just trusting our teammates, trusting my catcher, trusting each other, and just coming together in a big moment. What was it like watching Allison tell Rungo out there in the six? Oh my gosh, it was so cool. She's done it, what, like 16 times this year. And knowing that she goes up to the plate with a fresh mind, thinking that she hasn't done it before, and it was really cool. How are you guys going to celebrate? Oh, I think we're going to go eat some good food. Have a day off, and then we're right back at it. So, Let's talk about what she's meant to your program over these, these well, few years. She's been with you. Yeah, I mean, she's been in those moments since she was a freshman. She did that for us freshman year in semifinals. She comes through all the time, and I expected nothing less of her in that position. And she got what she wanted to miss it, so I'm be more proud of her. This is the first time in 10, 10 years that years, yeah, Lily's really done this. Um, did you talk about with your team or did the players talk amongst themselves about ending that, that quote-unquote drought? Yeah, I mean, at the beginning of the year, that was our hope. This is our goal. Yes. Uh, when we got moved to class four to class five, our goal became a little more difficult. Uh, yeah. But it's still stay put. And we knew this was going to be a tough district to get through. And we just stayed the course and fought through the pain of the season. And here we are. So proud of them. Yeah, I forgot about the move up to class five. That was, I think, mean, as if it wasn't hard it enough. Was, it was disappointing when it happened, but, you know, just something you got to roll with and deal with it, and here we go. Who springs out on Saturday? Your pitcher, she shut out Nixon the regular season, holds them to one run today. She, she said the key for her was hitting spots. What did you see from her today? Yeah, she definitely, the pitches that Coach Warrior was throwing, she definitely did not miss today. Uh, and they did a good job putting balls in play, and our defense did a good job behind her making those plays and keeping the one run. But she came up big in the big moments and, and got us out of a lot of jams. Is there a certain word or quality that would describe this group? I mean, they're just tough. They're resilient. They're, you know, they're hungry. They're seniors that want to win and have never had before, and finally they're here, so they're ready to go. And your reward is playing Blue Springs Foul. Blue Springs so, Foul. Um, you know, hey, no yeah. pressure. I was I guess. talking to Ned this morning, and it's one game in high school sports, and anything can happen. Team seems to have a flair for the dramatics here. Uh, they are dramatic all the time, but in softball, I guess the last couple of days, yes, they do as well. Um, they just don't have any quit in them. They just know they. They're confident in their skills and what they can do, and so they come out fighting, and whatever happens, happens, and luckily the last couple of games are in our way. You know, one of the reasons it, take, it took 10 years probably is because Ozark and Nixa were always in the way. What does it mean to beat those teams? <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's always tough rolling through teams you have to play all the time in your conference, and then especially these teams who, I mean, my goodness, they're just perennial powerhouses. We public them, even Kickapoo. Uh, I mean, they, they were phenomenal this year, so we just got by at the right time and made it work. I'm good.